right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Well, we really don't see a lot of guys in MMA with boxing skills on this level. He certainly could have gone on to great things as a professional boxer, but he believes he has the best hands in the sport, and he will be looking to prove as much here tonight. And he has the background to prove that, right? He's not saying something that is not true. He does have the ability to say that. He can say he has the best hands in the game because he has shown it. And when you watch him box, when you watch a guy go into a fight with this young man and think, that it does not matter what his credentials are. He is going to stand with them and prove that he's better. They usually will go to sleep because no action is wasted. The jab starts it all. He fights behind this beautiful, educated jab, jabbing high, jabbing low, and then the overhand right is unbelievable. It's his kill shot, he calls it, and he lands it all the time. Well, a special feel in this arena tonight for more reasons than one, but of course, the centerpiece is the former two-division UFC champion, the future Hall of Famer, Conor McGregor, returning to the proving ground here tonight. He fought three times in 2016, just once in 2018. Everybody's excited to see what version of Conor McGregor shows up here tonight. There are more Irish flags in the building <laughs> than you'll find anywhere in the United States of America. <laughs> and it's all for the notorious one. Conor McGregor has taken his country, put it on his back, and rode it to superstardom. He is a fantastic fighter, has really good takedown defense, which allows him to keep the fights on the feet where guys are always in danger. You're constantly in danger whenever you're fighting Conor McGregor because the moment you attack, that counter left hand is like a piston and he can shut your lights out with one strike. Yeah, that McGregor counter left hand, truly one of the best weapons in mixed martial arts today. A master when it comes to movement and distance management and also just rising to the occasion, right? When all eyeballs are on him, and you've experienced this as well, the ability on fight night to shine. All the distractions, Connor is able to shut him out, and he goes into the octagon, is focused, and always gets the job done. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting! the blue corner. This man is a boxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 260 pounds, fighting out Los Angeles, California. Big. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 16 wins, two losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, the notorious Connor McGregor! All right, Grinton rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back to the corner. Strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground. They want to strike. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about defending takedowns. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge in the striking to carry this to victory. Knee strike coming. It is blocked. Conor McGregor gets caught with that punch. 
Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent into positions where he can get off his strikes. Oh, they're going to exhaust themselves. So we may as well enjoy it right now because come the third round, regardless of the weight class, they're going to look like two tired heavyweights in the middle of the octagon. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Conor McGregor. Beautiful knee to the body by him there. Again, we talked off the top about his size advantage, and he put it to good use there. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by McGregor. Two minutes have expired off the round one clock here. Oh, that's a big connection there for McGregor, DC. I mean, big strike landed for Ireland's favorite son, Conor McGregor. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? He's got a serious right punch and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Oh, nice jab. Back and forth we go! And that one certainly found the target. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, look at that jab. Snapped his head back. His jab gets to the target so fast, and he always brings his hands right back to his face. Oh, single collar tie here. If your opponent has you in the clinch, Pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch. You have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Now connects with a right. 90 seconds remain in the round. Nice punch there by McGregor. Well, you're starting to see the damage now bleeding from his cheek. Right on the button. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by McGregor. This guy cannot miss the head with his strikes. Big kick lands. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Straight punch lands. He is all about that left kick to the body. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. So he crossed the 30 second mark in our opening round. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. And he landed the right hand there. He loaded up there on that high kick. He was high on that one. Oh! And what a round! All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights. He has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was gonna be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. Boxing is a little slight. You need to get back on your toes a little bit. Where's your balance? Start popping that jab at his face. 
All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next okay, round. Yeah, two, High one. number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with this kick. He's throwing high kicks, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Oh, just misses with the kick. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting the combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive through order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Whoa! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Big punch land. Back to the well with that right hand. It's no good. I mean, he's cutting them down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Nice head kick. McGregor's well, kick is blocked. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, nice left hand there by Conor McGregor. He's still got it. Yeah, he absolutely has it. He's one of those guys that understands distance management better than most fighters. Nice punch, Lance, over the top. All right, so he connects with another punch there, kind of targeting that cut. I mean, when you get a cut on your opponent and you see it and it's pouring blood, you continue to attack it. Every time you land, you can see that it splits it a little bit more. Great job finding that weakness and really taking advantage of it. He's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Got clipped with the right hand. Liver kick. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Just getting worse by the minute. Rated R tonight. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Just misses with the right hook. Nice punch there. Oh, he tagged him with the uppercut there. Shades of DC against John Jones in the second meeting. Oh. I mean, great job of getting in close and throwing that uppercut. Great angle. You're just gonna stonewall me on that. Oh, I love it. I hit him with a ton of mouthpiece came out. Mouthpiece went flying. We love you, John. Bruce. It was one of my nicest. Those fun moments. Well, from a striking standpoint, he has put it all together tonight. He has landed a ton of significant strikes and pretty easy fight, I would think, for the judges to score. It's a pretty easy fight to score. Tonight was a night where everything went right, and that doesn't happen very often. Let's get some offense. Let's get Goes back to that left kick once again. Oh, a little single collar tie there, and both guys really throwing with authority. Big kick land. And just misses with that big right hand. Oh, nice knee to the body for him there. Very nice. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Single collar tie now. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. Of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed.
look at him with his hip into that kick. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. And I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Oh, man. There he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. He's got to slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Straight right hand now just misses. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body. They're really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Oh, nice. And they separate. Body kick now by McGregor. Able to check that kick as well. Beautiful punch. Well, as my favorite rap group, Onyx, would say, stick and move, right? Uh -huh. Beautiful slip off the center line there. Yeah, what a great job of moving his head. It doesn't take much to avoid a punch. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Lanza glancing right hand upstairs. Big head kick land. Three minutes to go in round three. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Nice loop and punch. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Head kick lands. Big power shot there. Landed. Oh my goodness, he got kicked in the head and he's still standing. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are going to count. Nice. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Big kicks. On that. Now there's danger in that too, because when you start reaching on to catch that kick, you come the high kick and then you're in a lot of trouble. Oh, 
he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Blocks the shot. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Way to hide that leg kick. All right, that one signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. We'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round. And at some point, these are going to really start to take off. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. with that right hand. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. All right, single collar tie now. Big kick lands. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. Oh, collar tie. He mercifully stopped the fight. A great stoppage and a great performance by this young man. Well, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched him. I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors just played a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 10 seconds of round number four. Going to win by out, the notorious Conor And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? But yeah. you knock out a man in a cage fight, I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that done. And he should be very proud of the work he and his coaches got done tonight.